Hi, I'm Steve Purcell and this is M60 Media. And on this channel we're all about photography, cinematography, views, news, tips and reviews. And if you like that kind of content, why don't you consider subscribing to this channel, hit that notification bell and you'll know when I upload new content. So Canon have officially announced the EOS R. My views on that coming up after this intro. So we now don't have to just look at the rumours. Canon have announced the EOS R. And with it, they're telling us the Canon joins the full frame mirrorless party with the EOS R. This is a 30.3 megapixel camera which sports dual pixel CMOS AF and has a whopping 5,655 AF points for quick, precise autofocus for stills and video. Is that a type error? 5655 five, five AF points. That's mind-blowingly unbelievable. That's got to be a type error. It can't be true. If that's true, that's fantastic. That's unbelievable. Well done, Canon. But I'm not sure I believe it. Even very low light situations aren't a problem for the EOS R as it can focus down to negative 6 EV. Big thumbs up there. Well done, Canon. Flippy out screen, a flippy out screen. YouTubers are screaming for a 4K camera with a flippy out screen. You've now got it. Hang on a minute, I've just spotted something. 4K video with a 1.6 crop. It's not full frame 4K. It's only 30 frames per second. There's no 60 frames per second 4K. That's a bit of a letdown. What about the 120? 120 frames a second for that beautiful cinematic B-roll slow motion footage. It's not available in 10, 1080p. You've got to go to 720 to get that 1020 frames per second. It's beautiful slow motion footage. Although it's not going to be beautiful at 720p, is it? That's a negative. That's a really, really is a letdown. I need to cut in here. I didn't even notice there's no IBIS, no in-body stabilisation. What's that about, Canon? That's a massive miss. I'll tell you what else is a letdown. The price point. I think it's slightly overpriced. For the prosumer market, 2000 is around the sweet spot. The A7 III, £2,000 for the body. $2,000 for the body. That's the sweet spot. This is coming in for body only at £2,349. With the 24-105 kit lens, £3,269. Little steep for my liking that. Which brings me on to the new RF lenses. The RF 28-70mm F2 L USM. £3,049. We all know about the L lenses, they're not cheap. £3,049? Bit out of my price bracket. The 24-105 F4L Image Stabilised USM. 1119 A little easier to swallow. £3,000. <laughs> the RF50 1.2L USM. £2,349. This is more like it, but it's not an L lens. 35mm 1.S, image stabilisation, macro STM 519. A little easier to swallow. The RF adapter, £99, so you can use your um, old Canon EF and EF lenses. That's a plus point. Um, the battery grip, £329. Never really interested in the battery grip. So all in all, a very good photography mirrorless camera from Canon. Very impressive on the photography side. Semi-impressed on the video side. In fact, I'm not impressed on the video side. Cropped 4K. I don't know why Canon do it. The C-Log, that's a very big plus point. Canon do a really unbelievable colour science 
which everybody sort of aspires to. So the C-Log is in this camera. That's a massive plus point. Massive plus point to the YouTubers, the flippy out screen. But crop 4K? Why? 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 But all in all, a good photography camera. A semi-good video camera. It's definitely better than the Nikon Z6, Z7. Nikon, you need to go back to the drawing board. I wouldn't even bother releasing that camera. You'll get the Nikon fans who would buy the camera if it was made out of cream cheese. They'd still rave about it. But you're right at the bottom of the pile in this mirrorless world. Your Z system just isn't cutting anything. I think the Sony is still king of the mirrorless market with their Z series cameras. And I thought the Z7, Z, where am I going with Z? The R7S3 would be imminently announced. But I think Sony can sit back and um, sort of wait to see what happens in the market because there's no rush to release that camera. I don't think the offerings from Canon or Nikon are a threat to the Z series from, from Sony at the moment. And you've got that S camera in the back, on the back burner there, ready to release to blow everyone away with. And you don't need to do that now because these two new offerings from Canon and Nikon, or three offerings if you count the two Nikon cameras, not really a threat. If you've got brand loyalty, yes, you'll probably buy the Nikon. Yes, you'll probably buy the Canon. But I don't think you're going to take any of the new markets. And I don't think you're going to take anyone away from Sony. With that being said, if you've enjoyed this video, please like it with a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it. Give me your opinions in the comments down below. I'd love to read what you think about the mirrorless war at the moment. Whether you're a Nikon, Sony or Canon fan, leave a comment. I'd love to read it. Also, if you don't already, why don't you consider subscribing to this channel? We're all about cinematography and photography. So if you like that kind of thing, please consider subscribing. Hit the notification bell and you'll know when I upload new content. And hopefully, I'll see you very soon.